Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to quick start a parse enabled iOS app using Xcode and the Back4 App API. Sign up for Back4 App. If you already have an account, just log in. Now let us create a new parse app by clicking the new parse app button. Name the app as you wish. Give the app a description so people will know what it is about. After that, I'm going to hit the public API button, because this is just an example. This is the back for app parse API. It holds all the server information you'll need for creating the automated backend for your app. Open up Xcode and click the create a new Xcode project. Make a single view application, name it the same as the parse app you've previously made, Select the language you want, Swift or Objective-C. This video uses Swift, but anyways, Objective-C tutorial will probably be available shortly. Hit Next and select the directory you want. Now we need to download the parse SDK from the descriptions link. Open the git wrap and click the parse iOS download link. After the download has finished, find the framework files in your downloads folder and drag the .framework files into the apps directory in the Xcode. Pay attention to the way you import the files, it is important to do the same setup as I did. Now that we've imported parse and bolts framework to the API, we'll need to add some other frameworks that parse service requires. For the interest of time, we're going to fast forward this step. The list with all the frameworks you need to add to your app is going to be in the description. After this, you can insert parts and bolts into the Frameworks folder, if you wish. Now that you've got the Frameworks all set, you need to import the parse service to your app. First, let us go back to the web browser and enter, as you can see, back for apps quick start documentation. We'll borrow some code from it and paste it inside our application function in the app delegate. Whoop! Don't forget to import parse and bolts, otherwise the app won't work. One of the code's function is actually deprecated so we'll change it up a bit. So it'll work now. Now we need to add the app ID and the client key. Both of them are in the back for apps API. Huh? For some reason the key went blue, <laughs> don't worry about that. Now just build the app and wait. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more tutorials in the Back for Apps API.